This factory located in Anekal, Karnataka is a dream come true for PC Mustafa, the affable founder of ID Fresh, one of India's most successful brands when it comes to idli batter, vada batter, malabar parota and even filter coffee decoction. 48-year-old Mustafa, who grew up in a village in Kerala that had no proper roads or electricity, says this will be the biggest idli vada batter and parota plant in the world. This plant we just built just two months ago, I commissioned, and um, we are able to do a, around a lakh kg per day. That's the capacity that we have today. It is it can actually we can actually further double it by investing in you know, a little bit of machinery. So I would say this factory would be good enough to serve Bangalore for the next couple of years. Okay, so uh, one lakh kgs of idli uh, batter per day. One lakh kg of idli dosa batter per okay, day. Okay, Mustafa says that's enough to feed the whole of uh, Bengaluru. So how many idlis on an average uh, for almost, one lakh? Uh, uh, yeah. one, one idli gives you around uh, 22, one kg batter gives you around 22 idli. So it's around uh, 2.2 million idli a day. Okay. Uh, take us through what happens, Mustafa. What happens at the factory? So, from the go down, you get the raw materials, which would be your um, urad dal, yes. white urad dal, yeah. rice, rice, and, and, dal, uh, and methi. fenugreek yeah. uh, methi seeds as well. So, uh, you know, what happens? Where uh, Take us through the entire process. It, gets, it, it goes through the cleaning process first. Okay. Then it comes to the washing. Then the soaking. This is, this the, is, soaking, the, soaking this, this is the heavy duty okay. soaking tanks. After soaking, it goes to the grinding, and that's that's a grinding machinery. That's the grinding. Yeah, okay. that's a heavy duty grinder, all imported grinders, hmm. right? And then it goes for the uh, you know fermentation. Okay. It goes to the fermentation tank, which is on the third floor, and then it goes to the packaging, which you just noticed now. So when we make idli batter at home, it yeah. takes on an average one hour for a, for the urad dal to soak, and six to seven hours for your idli rice to soak. It's almost same same process here, as you can see here. Our products are 100% natural, no chemicals, no preservatives, nothing else in it, right? So we only use rice, dal, methi, and arrow purified water, nothing else. And in this process, the product gets completed, production process gets completed for you know, from beginning to end in within around two hours. Within two hours. Yeah. From so, the soaking. Yeah. From to the cleaning the, to the from, from the from the cleaning to soaking to the uh, fermenting, packing. Okay. That process takes around around uh, two hours to complete, and after that, it goes for natural fermentation. Right. Even the fermentation, we don't add any fermentation agent. We keep it for natural fermentation in a controlled temperature. That's it, that, that happens in a cold room. The plant has been set up at an investment of rupees forty crore, is spread across eighty thousand square feet, and employs over two thousand people. At top capacity, it can produce 1.2 lakh kgs of idli dosa batter per day, 3.5 lakh parotas, and 10,000 kgs of vada batter. It's a long journey from where Mustafa first started in 2005. With a 50 square feet kitchen at an investment of rupees 50,000, selling 100 packets a day on a second hand scooter. So tell us about this investment itself. How yep. much have you invested in the factory? <laughs> Why did you see the need to ramp up your capacity? Uh, this is like is a it because dream. of domestic demand, international demand? Uh, what are you looking at in terms of the de uh, as far as the demand situation is concerned? This is like a dream come true situation for us, <laughs> right? We started in a very small setup. All what we had was a small kitchen, okay. a 50 square feet area of a kitchen. We had one grinder, one mixer, one weighing machine, one ceiling machine, and a second hand scooty. That's how we started. What what we invested at that time was fifty thousand rupees. This plant we invested forty crore. Wow! And uh, build the capacity for the future. This plant will be sufficient for south demand initially, and when the demand increases, we will have to probably set up a different plant in Chennai in future. As of today, this plant will serve Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. ID has diversified in recent years from idli batter to parotas, vada batter, coffee, paneer and curd. 
while the demand has returned after the initial covid shock and its e-commerce channel is growing mustafa hopes things will return to normal c by june he's also planning to bring back categories such as tender coconut and introduce a brand new product fresh noodles a category that's a hot favorite in india during the covid time we were able to recruit some new customers hmm. um, customers used to make batter at home we have recruited them to id brand many of my customers are still work from home and they are probably not in city today hmm. Hmm. so hopefully by june time they will be back and around 11% of my revenue was coming from b2b channel corporate b2b and that was completely wiped off last year we hope that will come back to the normal c in the next few months without that Uh, we have doubled our revenue growth last year hmm. so for the next financial year we have very high ambition uh, of course maintaining our revenue growth numbers on top of it these two possible things happening so right. anything you can share on the revenue so, uh, how uh, much have you crossed so, what's your target for fy22 so last year um, now last year we had a 16 percentage revenue growth this year if you take only the i mean the total business we have around, around 32 percentage revenue growth But if I take only the B two C channel, we had close to forty percent revenue growth this year. Hmm. For the next year, we are super confident to look at a fifty to sixty percent revenue growth with the B two B coming back to the normalcy, as well as my regular customers returning to the city. Which would be what two hundred, three hundred? No, no, growth? we we will be doing around three hundred this year. Three hundred this year. Yeah, and uh, next year we have a very ambitious, ambitious, ambitious plan of four fifty to five hundred revenue. Okay, and in terms of categories, um, apart from idli batter, parotta, you're also betting on filter coffee or yes. the uh, decoction yes. because you, I think you introduced three blends recently. Yes, yes, yes. We started with batter initially, then we got into parottas, chapatis, right? Then vada batter, then uh, coffee decoction. We just before the COVID in February last year, we had launched tender coconut and grated coconut. Unfortunately, during COVID, we had to stop it. We'll be bringing back those products. we are also getting into you know very related products hmm. right which will which could probably disrupt so for example um in uh, dubai we just launched something called fresh noodles oh okay yeah <laughs> free from any of the chemicals preservatives whatever msc whatever you want to call right nothing of that sort those are fresh noodles and doing very well in the market in fresh dubai. noodles without the taste maker uh... yeah so you we leave it to you to make okay. your taste at home okay right? we give you the fresh based noodles and you make it home mustafa's ambitions include setting up a plant in the us and penetrating markets such as saudi bahrain and qatar id which counts helium ventures and premji investors investors has mandated kotak to help with its next round of fundraise and will hit the road in the coming weeks mustafa is a beat as he says His success so far has given him confidence, and that confidence will beget more success as he scripts a global consumer brand story out of India. Chandra Ashrikant, Money Control.